y está en, leyendo el programa de Footsteps to Brilliance. Estudiantes, pero mira, no está nomás mirando, está platicando, está averiguando, está usando las palabras del cuento. The letter B. Yes, it starts with the letter B. Hey, Kenya, it's your turn. Ah, look, the little truck went forward. Forward. Mm -hmm. and, then it went, and then it went backwards. And then it went backwards. Out in the cold, the great big truck will dump its load. Ah, what kind of truck is this called? Do you remember? A dump truck. A dump truck. Yes, all right. Tony's turn. Oop, again. Ah, it was dumping. And it goes away. And then it went away, you're right. And it went away. Mm -hmm. Ah. Crash, crash, mm -hmm. crash. Okay, Cecilia, it's your turn again. Crash, crash. Oh, crash. You did. Is it full now or is it empty? Empty. Mm -hmm. It started out full and then it was empty. Hace las palabras de inglés y cada libro se representa en inglés y también en español. Ah, ¿qué es eso? Es un libro. Y puede cambiar para ver si entiende bien las palabras. Estos son los programas de de, de este Footsteps to Brilliance. Tiene, um, vamos a repasarlos en la iPad, ¿ok? Pero tienen libros, un, una biblioteca de muchos libros, en español y en inglés. Enseñamos a los niños que miran primero al, al título y al dibujo. Y pregúntales, ¿de qué se trata este cuento? Y después, siempre que sientan la cocina, the speaker, antes de hacer lo demás, escucha bien de qué se trata el cuento y a ver si va con el dibujo y escucho otra vez a ver si entiende las palabras y después que siente el, el dibujo a ver las actividades voy a mirar el, la, el dibujo y así usando las palabras de la luna llena mira que hay animales una casita están en la granja y después escuchan they tiptoe, they creep. Where's Farmer Black? In his bed, fast asleep. <laughs> Así puede preguntar, ¿cómo se llama el señor? ¿Quién es? ¿Qué hace? Okay. Y ahora vamos a ver los animales creeping. Okay. Sienta bien así los animales. Y así están creeping. They just take out their cell phone and say, remember the story about the cow? Tell me what the cow did. And you have a little conversation. You're still talking to them, but they're not bothering you because they're busy looking at the story, and you can get your work done, and you know they're still learning and having a good time. I'd rather see them do this than be watching television because they're interacting with it. Yeah. yeah. It's school to go. Yeah, it is. School it's school to go. go. That's exactly yeah. what I like that. School to go. School yeah. on the go. Very oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I have to coin that, that one. We're That's school that. on the go, yeah. yeah. They said some amazing things when we talked about our goals. They were talking about wanting their children to be curious and be investigating their world, and they had some great ideas for this, um, mm -hmm. for their kids with this. So Yo tengo, I have an iPad at home. You do? And my little boy started using it when he was two and a half. He's wow. speaking English. He, he's so he's English. learning it. He, that's his main yeah. source of language Which from the iPad. Which games, see videos, and play a little bit, and right. I learn. Wow. The other nice thing is they keep adding to this program. So they just added all of the animal alphabet books, and then they added a part that teaches children the sounds of the letters, the phonic sounds, and they just continue to add. So that it's not once they read all these books, they've done everything. There's lots more coming. Yeah. yeah. And also it's very simple. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah. see so many icons, so it's very simple. No, no ads. It's, yeah, and I don't think they think if they learn they, they, they don't. They play, yeah. they, they, use, mm -hmm. they don't say, I have to do like work. They use playing and learning. Yeah. And it's fun for them. And that's the best kind of learning. Yeah. yeah. They learn through play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, and 
thing for doing this. So <laughs> oh. yeah. Thank you for being here and taking advantage of it. If I may interrupt, we also wanted to let you know that this is available to um, other children throughout Napa County, right. not just children that are in, are in our NCOE preschools. So if you have friends with kids that are in another preschool or maybe are not in preschool at all, we have these cards that you can take with you. It tells you how to download the app and where to go, and it's all free. You keep hearing everyone say that parents are their child's first teacher, but you are. You are the most important teachers, and when you get excited because your children are happy and learning doing something like this, that inspires them. They want to please you. And so they, they do it because it's fun intrinsically, but also because you're enjoying them learning. So it just feeds on itself, and they will come to kindergarten so prepared, you won't believe it. They'll just take off from there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And if you have your iPads with you or your smartphones, we can help you download the app right now. Oh, that's that's where you can take it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Actually, my favorite are the um, Hi, Superintendent Nemco. Great to see you here. Well, hello. Welcome. How are you? Thank I'm you. So glad to see you. So you did the parent workshop tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. How did it go? It was. It went very well. It went very well. We had very engaged parents tonight. How many have you done so far? I'd say this is my sixth, maybe sixth parent presentation. Fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the word is getting out. It is getting out slowly, and it's not. It's not easy in a little town like ours to get information out to people so I was glad to see them here yes yeah. great great group of parents very involved asked a lot of they good went questions home with their and pockets full of flyers to to pass out did. to their friends have any of them used it before or this was their first introduction this was their first introduction for all of them one gentleman had seen it and w was um, um, actually motivated enough to try to log on and find it for himself and um, wasn't able to get into it. So he was uh, very excited to find out how he could do that using his own cell phone. And our goal when they leave here is that they walk out with, we hope that they'll bring their cell phone or their iPad with them and they'll leave with their login information. We'll get them registered so they can go home and start using it right off the bat with their kids. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. I've been looking at your numbers of how many words the kids have been exposed to and how many books they've read and you are going gangbusters. Oh, great. <laughs> well, that's wonderful to hear. No, the kids love it. They're, once they've been introduced to the stories, they start to own the stories and they want to listen to them over and over again and try the games out. And Be still my heart. Get better and better at the game. So it is a, it's a wonderful program. And now they're, it's, it's, it's a fun challenge because they want to sing the songs and they're recording their own voices and they're writing their own stories. So it's a lot more active and that's a rich part of this program. And they've added some new pieces, the whole phonics piece. Yes, the mega mouth decoders, yes. How, how are they liking those? They're liking them. It's kind of funny because sometimes I'll, it'll catch me by surprise because I've never heard them make those sounds before, and they'll be saying, ah, 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 and they'll be starting to do the rhymes. And they don't realize that the words they're saying are pretty difficult words. They're just mimicking them, and they're engaged in it. So I'm hopeful that program will help them also. Oh, I, yeah. I caught my granddaughters using that program the other yeah. day because they love the record part and listening to yes. their own voices. So yeah. that right. is particularly engaging. It is. It, it is. is. It makes it a lot of fun, too, for them. Yeah, Wonderful. So you've been using this program now for about four years. Yes. Mm -hmm. And do you see a big difference or do the first grade teachers see a big difference when the kids go on? Uh, yes, actually, they, they actually see the students um, assuming a lot more responsibility for their own learning, and they, they make decisions about what they're doing, and programs like this help them do that. Uh, that was the surprise that te the first grade teachers, who had no experience with iPads, they were surprised to find that these students came in with some independence about their learning related to using iPads. And many of them were able to learn from the students how to use Footsteps to Brilliance in programs like this. That was a nice it. surprise for them.
We have come a long way in four we years, have. haven't we? <laughs> yes. From when people said, you're doing what? With iPads for right. preschool kids? Right. Are yeah. you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> to where we are today. I know. I think just understanding how, how keyed into um, good brain research this program is makes it such a valuable tool. And that we're really helping parents understand it's still about language. It's still about being involved with your children and exploring the world. And I loved it when that one parent said, I want my child to love investigating the world. And I thought that was wow. just what it's all about. So. And I heard one mother say on the way out, I learn a new word every day. Right. Through the right. iPad right. with her story. And that's a big yeah. part of this being in English and Spanish. The parents are also yeah. learning English vocabulary along with their kids. And so they're learning together. Yeah. And that seems to excite them, I think. We could see them tonight flipping from one mm -hmm. to a pony. What's that in Spanish? Right. What's that in English? They right. were flipping back and forth to hear the Spanish and English mm -hmm. the pronunciation means. of the words. So it's pretty, they're very excited. Thank yeah. you, thank you for doing this. I particularly appreciate it because it's uh, seven o'clock at night <laughs> and you're <laughs> still here and you've already had a long work day and yeah. yet Well, our parents it's important too enough. probably got up at three in the morning to go out and work in the fields and they're here really, they wanna help their kids. And even if they can't read, they're finding ways to access it through these tools while they're learning. And that was another thing one man said. He says, I like to show my child that I can learn too. Mm -hmm. And they won't lose them as they move up in school and feel like they're moving, they can move with them and continue to learn. So this is a wonderful tool for keeping that learning open for everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. I think now there's so much focus on that 30 million word gap. Yeah. And if you're a parent who can't read, then you don't have a way to close no. that gap, but right. this allows this you to do it them. even if you can't read. And I think a lot of parents will learn to read from yes. this because they'll memorize mm -hmm. the books the same way the mm -hmm. kids will. Yeah, yep. yeah, and it's so accessible for them now. <laughs> and thank you, Lori. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I enjoy <laughs> it too. Scheduling, set yeah. it all up and yeah. everything. Yeah. Now. It's, yeah. it's fun to see the parents enjoying themselves and learning mm -hmm. and yep. getting excited about it. Well, it's thank great. you. It's great, <laughs> yeah. It's fun to do. It is.